All right, here we are. We had some excess concrete. We just did a little foundation. We had some excess concrete, so we decided to make a stepping stone. And then we found this bucket of uh, rock that had been sitting here for a while. So we're gonna utilize that rock and this concrete, make the um, nice big aggregate exposure here. And uh, before we set this rock, the important thing is it's gotta be pretty clean. If it's not clean, it's not gonna bond very well. So I'm gonna rinse that really thoroughly. I'll put a hole, a couple holes in the bottom of this bucket, flush it through. And the rocks will be ready to go in at that point. That's the object today. All right, catch you later. All right, we're about um, 30 minutes into the process right now. Concrete's shaped up fairly nicely, nice and flat. Now we just gotta pick out the nice rocks. We've got a bunch here to choose from. I'm gonna try to go with the ones with the flatter, like a flatter side of it. And I think I'll space them, you know, maybe like that far. A nice flat side. Well, here's the trick to make sure that these stay in here. Keep beating it until the cream comes up. You notice how as, as I put the rocks in, see how much higher the concrete came than the form now? That's a displacement that the rock is doing here. This is fine. But if you're a match and existing or something, you have to take into account for that. All right, we're back on this 45 minutes later. Got the hand edger now. Work up a little cream. Now edge it. You can do this with the bag mix. You know, stuff you get at Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever your local hardware. But I like to, if I if I go with the bag mix, I usually add a shovel full of cement uh, for every every two bags. All right, now I got it all roughed up. Got the edge in. Now I'm just going to put a trowel on this. I'm going to trowel it, and then I'm just going to wait until it's ready to rinse. Dander pull trowel. Very forgiving. Like if you're learning to do concrete, this is probably what you'd want to learn on something like this. Really forgiving. It doesn't leave a lot of lines because it's so flexible on the ends. As you can see how the rocks are pulling up on top of the, the rocks that I actually set. The rocks within the concrete are kind of dragging across the top. That's going to all come off anyway, so this is good, right like this. All right, here we are. 
We're about two hours into this. Now we're gonna start to expose those rocks that I set in earlier. I've got the nylon horsehair broom here. So put the water on, you can see it's not really doing anything. So we gotta rough it up a little bit. Open it up. Now we have a sand exposure. The sand that you're seeing right now is that's within the concrete mix itself. We got to get down to those boulders that we put in. Hopefully we can. I don't know. Never did it before with these bigger rocks, so we're gonna see what happens. Yeah, it's starting to come up. We're starting to see some big rocks now. That's it, man. That's as good as it's gonna get right there. Good man, it looks real good. Put a nice coat of sealer on here. There it is. All right, we're back on it next day. We're gonna strip the forms. We're gonna clean the residue off the top of these stones, just a stiff brush. And then we're gonna seal it. Save the screws, build another box. Part, nice and clean reuse these for the next one okay it's all cleaned up nice and dry sealers going on There, that's a real piece of beauty there. That's a beauty, huh? Let me get a picture of that for myself. All right, that about wraps up how to make a stepping stone out of just some, you know, stuff laying around the yard. That we found the rocks laying around here, probably collected over the years, and now they're preserved in this stepping stone forever. And there's a lot more of these rocks where those come came from about three or four buckets right over here so that's a nice little project it doesn't cost a lot do it with you know like i said before you can do it with pre-bag mixes out of the local hardware throw a little extra cement in there though kind of skimp on that and then uh you'll have this same thing all those small rocks that you see in there that's actually in the mix
So this costs about five dollars to make, I would say, you know, and a little elbow grease. Anyway, have a good one. Talk to you later.